Hey folks, I'm here to talk about a modern PPM solution. I'm really excited about this. We've been partnering with a lot of groups for a long time, Microsoft being one of our premier partners. We are a gold certified partner of Microsoft. We're also a gold partner of some other partners that are out there. And I wanna to talk to you about one in particular, but before I get to sort of announcing what I'm gonna be talking about, let's dive a little back on what people come to us for. You know, what are the benefits that people are trying to get out of it? a tool system and really trying to understand where they're coming from. Well, number one, what we're finding out from folks is, you know, they need something that's just easy to use, right? Just make something flexible, keep it easy. I want to allow people to work where they're used to working, but also, you know, I don't want to have to manage all these different things and get a, a, a rule of operation or something out there that brings all these pieces of data on who does what and where they have to log into. Another is really just making it easy for people to work. Well, one piece on the work is really collaborating. In today alone, I know folks have been working from home for quite some time. It's March 2022 here. And we know that a lot of us have been working from home. So that ability to do remote sessions to dive into projects to really figure out what's going on with our organization from a portfolio from a strategic level but also the day-to-day -day, the personality and the person part of this is really understanding how to collaborate whether that's on a, an issue or a particular risk elevating up to a client or bringing in uh, vendors or outside consultants to help us on different projects so we can get it done. Having that area that everybody can be on the same team is imperative. And we're gonna look at Microsoft Teams to do this. But really what I'm excited about here is that flexibility and is leveraging a new tool that we have had for you know about three years here. But for you, it might be new because you haven't seen it before. What is this tool? It's one plan. And why we're looking at one plan is it is the most flexible enterprise PPM solution that we've come across today. And it could take your current processes and bring them into a technology solution. It can use exactly what you're using today, whether that's a Microsoft project, maybe it's the new project for the web that's out there. It could be SharePoint list information. It can dive into areas of uh, ServiceNow, Jira, version one, anything that you have out there. And again, these are all necessarily Microsoft tools. So it aligns your current and future processes to a roadmap, and we'll talk about that. But then it also takes that ever-growing and ever-changing potentially in your organization, that tool set that people are using. So great, let Sally use what she wants to use. And over on the other side, Bobby and his team, they're gonna use what they wanna use they're still going to get their activities done, this thing called work, right, in, in this high-level work management solution. And for us to be objectively comparing and really trying to understand what the limits are of your current organization and the challenges that we can do, and we're going to meet that with three things. The process in around it, and that will be ever-changing. The tool set that's around, and we're going to bring a, a flexible tool today. And then last is that culture and how much they can adapt to different change. But again, we can ease them into it by using the current tools that they're using. So again, not a lot of heavy lift for them. Folks like different buzzwords. And I know uh, Sachin and Della from Microsoft have been using um, tech equilibrium, you know, that combination of something that's technical and, and blending into you know the word that sounds like equilibrium right so you can find your spot your adaption right your your reason to adapt right to a particular standard in this case and if you look at these three uh, circles that are here today we some of us are in the tactical we're doing the day-to-day -day project management uh can you know really understanding the project itself and executing, maybe even closing, I'll give you that. But that's in our traditional uh, PPM or project portfolio management solution. And you might hear terms, you know, Microsoft Project or some of these other tools that you're using to manage. And then you have your folks on the left, or you might hear this term called shifting left. And that's over in the agile piece. And folks call that agile portfolio management, 
Okay. And yeah, it's using different methodologies. It can be everything from scrum to, you know, different um, themes, you know, working in and around, whether it's a value stream proposition, whatever you have. But this again is more on the left side of the PPM, uh, the PPM shift here. And then we have sort of the hybrid, you know, everyone's looking for a hybrid, whether it's, you know, with our cars today to save uh, electricity and gas and put them in all into one. But this is that same sort of blend. If you can get your traditional PPM core and usually the, the waterfall approach, and then you can get this agile ability and put it into one, you know, we're sort of coining this along with our partner one plan more of the adaptive portfolio management and again that's where we can harness these other tools so yes if you have some other tools whether it's um, Jira um, Azure DevOps from Microsoft or it's version one or something else that's out there we can take all that in as well as maybe project for the web that's there so we're going to take all this information in here and we're going to really get able to show all the different capabilities that you can do with this tool set. Again, I mentioned that we're pretty darn excited about this, and it is because we grow our teams and we grow our, vendor, our vendors and our clients on the best platform in the world, Microsoft. There's so much flexibility here with the tool sets that you have, and you probably know 80% of them. And that is in this wheel. So yes, we're going to pull in Office 365, all the things that you know. But Teams is going to be a big approach. And we jump into this quick demo that I'm going to show you. And then our team is actually going to dive deep into subsequent uh, videos for us. But I just want to give you a little glimpse of this. That Teams wrapper is going to then cover the Power Platform as well. So you can have Power Automate, which used to be called Flow saying, hey, I got an email from something and it's requesting a project. Let's push this into a form and create a project to get it into the initiation. Or maybe I have an idea area. However creative that your mind can be, you can use these low code or no code solutions with Power Apps, Power Automate, as well as the analytical or reporting tool of Power BI. And then we have, you know, as you get down in these, this other wheel, the tried and true project. And that's, you know, really going to be the executive function of managing projects and doing that. And then we can get into some of the Azure DevOps, but those are all going to be different uh, recordings along. And you can always see those with, uh, within our YouTube sessions here. So I want to switch over here now and really get into why, you know, this, this tool, one plan. And what we find is that people come to us and say, yeah, we have these three needs or these five or six needs. And these you know, sort of tend to fall in the camp of functional areas of, of portfolio, or maybe strategic alignment, okay? collaboration, all these beautiful areas that we try to connect across our organization. But there's a tool part of this. And when we hear, hey, we're currently using ServiceNow, Salesforce, Oracle, okay? SAP, whatever it happens to be. What we can do at PPM Works here is we build those connections into one plan, either with the out of the box functionality of a one connect tool that's there, or we can build and use the API to integrate into anything. And I'll just repeat that. Yeah, into anything. We haven't met anything, even a homegrown application that we can't pull into this ever seeing line around the organization as far as a strategic portfolio tool. It can even get into enterprise application tool or enterprise portfolio planning. If you have any questions on what you just heard, or you want to reach out and get a little bit more information, please reach out to us at info at PPM Works. We're always happy to dive deep and really first take a listen to what you need, see what you're using today, and then offer a few options that you have and explain to you why we recommend tools in particular. And chances are that it's gonna be something um, in the one plan area. So let me go ahead and just shift gears here and start to show you a little bit about that tool set called one plan. And one plan can be, again, it's built on the Microsoft platform. And why is that 
so amazing? Well, the reason being is we can host everything within Teams. So now I'm in Teams, and we're taking a look at this cool tool called OnePlan. It's going to allow you to bring in work from any system that you're currently using today. And then along with our, our experts here at PPM Works, we can integrate and really connect with any line of business tool that you have out there. So let's take a look here. Yes, you folks are familiar with Teams here. And what you're going to have here is that rich collaboration area. So whether you're using Teams today or you're going to look at a, a tool for collaboration, this embeds nicely. Very well integrated um, with the tool set. You can actually embed it here, and I can see everything within the tool uh, today. Now, what are we looking at? I look at a portfolio uh, from many perspectives, and, and you on the line, if you're a portfolio or project manager, you might have a different definition here. We created a hierarchy within this system. Again, it can be totally configurable, but we have portfolio, program, projects, and then we get down, you know, epics. So again, we can take a look at this from a, a portfolio level, and we can dive deeper into the actual programs that make of it world-class customer support, improve then mobile applications. And as we go down even further into mobile applications, we can start to see, and this is where we can see all these other applications. Azure DevOps, okay, Planner coming into the tool set, as well as Project Professional and uh, Project for the Web as well. Okay, so all of these pieces, and here's a Teams uh, integration, can be seamlessly integrated into the tool. And as we can start to see this information, and I'm going to expand this so we can just take a look at, at this tool set. Now, you have different views here, and you can have uh, red, yellow, and green, and we can talk about the different thresholds there that you can set. It's 100% configurable. Add in your different views here, as well as any of your different information. Well, this is a very quick demonstration and introduction into one plan. But what you're going to get is the power to bring all of your projects, okay, initiatives across all of these different tool sets and be able to track and view and report on them. So not only can you see them in a list, maybe you do want to see uh, the timesheet, excuse me, the, um, the Gantt chart view on these. And they can be color coded, OK, by, in this case, on track at you know, overall health, OK? Some people like to see a sticky tab or a board view of this. Again, same at that strategic level, we can tie this in. And you can start to see this information. Well, we can zoom it in, OK? And I can start to see across the organization what the different, um, across the different business units, what our initiatives are and where they're tracking. Now, a roadmap view is going to allow us from a, a, a capability, and we happen to be looking by business unit. And if I hover over, I can actually see the deliverables that our organization care about. And they're not the same standard deliverables across each project. So pretty cool here. And I actually could drill into some areas that are red and find out what's going on. Do we have an issue? Uh, are there resource constraints, et cetera? And then leveraging the power of Microsoft, in this case, Power BI, we're going to get a rich uh, reporting tool. And this is going to be the report pack. And this adaptive report pack starts off with tons of different reports. But the two or three that I wanted to go show you is one first at a portfolio level, which is the portfolio summary. It's going to bring in all those initiatives that we just talked about. Roll this up, whether you're looking at a budget or you have AOP planning. However you're looking at these things, you can take a look at this dashboard and start to see the usefulness uh, at your organization. And as you start to report information at the portfolio level, you can get an overview of all your different projects. You can drill in to the particular status. Let me go over here where I have a little data. Here we are. So you can drill into that information, okay, across all our projects. You can do trending analysis, okay? How are things forecasting? What's the budget look like? And what is that analysis from a trends perspective? Financial and execution are the last two I'm going to show you today. From a financial perspective, folks always ask us, okay, so we're doing everything in Microsoft Project, but we're, we're capturing costs outside the system. We're pulling in information from Oracle or SAP 
or some other tool that's out there. How do we see it all in one? Again, let's bring all that data into the solution, be able to report on it, slice and dice across your hierarchy. So I can roll it up to a portfolio if we need to. And they could tie all those portfolios into different strategies. Each one of these concepts that I'm talking about, our team is going to dive into, and you're going to see up here on the YouTube site, all the other detailed demonstrations. Lastly, it wouldn't be a tool if it can't point out, hey, where do I need to concentrate? And this would be in and around what we call execution. So what has been completed from a milestone perspective, what is upcoming, and then maybe what's overdue, okay? And we'll be able to drill into these. Again, what projects are we looking at? Where are all these impacts from risk and issue, changes, deliverables? All this can be captured into the tool set. Now, today we only looked from a portfolio perspective. There are going to be other tools and other recordings out here that's going to drive into how does this look from a team member perspective? How does this look from a potential project or portfolio manager, as well as a resource manager? So I welcome you again to ask those questions. Reach out to us if you do have any questions, and we will be seeing you on the YouTube sites out there, but also in a, an event nearby. So thanks again for your time today. I look forward to hearing from you. My name is Jacques Goupil on half of PPM Works and our partner, OnePlan. We're very excited to show you this as well as answer any questions. If you need a demo, dial us up. Have yourself a good day. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye now.